What's going on YouTube? Gabriel White here, represent PGA Tour, driven the movement towards improvement. Today's video, sun's about to go down. I wanted to make a quick video on why do you want to get to the PGA Tour? You know, I use PGA Tour driven as a slogan, as kind of a benchmark, something high to shoot for. And I think if you want to get to the PGA Tour for the wrong reasons, you won't be able to get there. So I'm going to do one whole course vlog, and I'm just going to talk to you guys about what I've been thinking on this subject. Okay guys, so let me share with you guys what I was thinking. You know, I think because our culture idolizes uh, celebrities and athletes, you know, growing up everybody wants to be an actor or actress or rock star or a professional basketball player or football player or golfer, uh, depending on what culture you were brought up in. Maybe if you were born in Canada, you wanted to be a prof professional hockey player. So our culture idolizes these people and because we see the fame you know, let's say for being a PGA Tour player, you know, you get to go travel around, play the nicest courses, you get tons of money, power, uh, and anytime you get any type of that level of status, you can get women as well. So that is, if that's the reason you want to get to the PGA Tour, I think that's a very materialistic and shallow approach, and I don't think you'll get there if those are the reasons you want to get there. Everybody, you know, wants those things in life, and just because you want them doesn't mean you're gonna get there. I was told, you know, to shoot for the moon, but like my good buddy Naudi said, is they, te they tell you to shoot for the moon before they even teach you how to take a step. And there's so many more important things to worry about other than outcome than trying to get somewhere. You know, really being able to focus on the process, which would be, you know, learning how to control your thoughts, learning how to control your emotions, learning how to control your actions, your ability to be aware, your ability to be clear, your ability to learn, your ability to take action, your ability to respond to adversity, your ability to react to adversity. I mean, these are the things, these are the, these are the causes that get you the effect. If you get to the PJ Tour, it means you do all those things very well. And I think a lot of us need to focus more on taking the steps, you know, crawling, walking, jogging, and running, instead of just saying, I want to get to the PGA Tour, um, especially if you are not in it for the right reasons. Uh, I was able to spend some time with a gentleman by the name of Mark Kensby who's won a PGA Tour event. Uh, and he's not on tour right now, but he's trying to get back. The guy genuinely loves golf. I mean, he's a golf nut. I mean, he's out there one day with a swing tie on. The next day, he's using a tripod as a backswing aid. You know, he goes home, spends two hours in the mirror working on his uh, putting setup, you know. So, whether the PG Tour was there or not, he just loves golf and he's gonna work on getting better to the day he dies because he genuinely loves it. And those guys are gonna have a lot better chance of getting there than somebody who just wants the the glamorized outside aesthetics point of view, you know? Damn, just hit a great eight iron right there. So you guys, just wanna kinda of throw that out there for you guys. Uh, there's a lot that we can't control. Uh, what I mean by that is, let's say Adam Scott wants to win as many majors as Tiger Woods. No matter how bad he wants it, no matter how much he visualizes, how much he works every day, he won't be able to win 14 majors. But because he has that lofty goal, he might be able to win as many majors as uh, as he could because he's pushing so hard, he, he has something to reach for that he can never get to. So that might push him to win as many majors as he can. You see what I'm saying? So there's a lot in life we can't control, but there's a lot in life we can influence. Like I was telling you, controlling our thoughts, emotions, actions, responding to failure or adversity, being aware, clear, your ability to learn. These are things we can control and that's gonna get us as far as we can go. You know, so much, so many people are always trying to judge themselves on what they achieve in life. And I don't do that. I judge myself on what I can do and the effort I put in it towards getting better and self-developing myself. So you guys, don't judge yourself if you don't get to the PJ Tour or win every tournament, you know? There's, that's a lot we can't control. If Tiger Woods could have, could have break Jack's record, he will, but there might be a good chance he can't now. But he's gonna do as best he can until he stops playing golf, I guarantee you that. And that's what we need to strive for as well. That eight iron, eight iron's about 10 feet, that was a good shot. Didn't bring my putter though, so I'll putt it with the eight iron. It pulled it a little bit, a little hard with the eight iron. So anyways, I want to do a little one whole course vlog for you guys. You know, I like to get to the PGA Tour. I'd love, I'd love to play at a PGA Tour event right uh, one day. 
Yeah, but right now I don't even have a place to play or practice. And to do that you need money. And if I wanted to go get a job and make money, that would take a time away from playing and practicing. And like I said before in my other videos, a lot of my friends, you know, they have 60, 80, 100K in the bank just to golf. They don't have to worry about working or anything else. So I try to do the best with what I have uh, and the resources that are available to me now and obviously trying to get better resources. And, you know, I see potential in my videos and you guys have given me tremendous amount of support and, you know, have responded well to these videos. So, you know, I want to keep doing them. If I can't practice and play, then I'll work on something else that I think can make me more money one day so I can, can practice and play and deliver better videos for you guys. And, you know, just to kind of keep rambling on, maybe one day on your road to the PGA Tour, you might go, you know what, I'd rather be a college coach or an instructor or a superintendent. You know, that's totally fine. That doesn't mean you're less of a man or you're, you know, giving up. Just means, you know what, I'm not as passionate about playing golf day in and day out as I thought I was, you know, on the grind. And I would like to be a college coach and mentor, you know, young kids or a junior coach, which is totally fine. Like for me, I would love to just be able to travel around the world, make videos, deliver the best golf content on YouTube and play golf with all you guys. How sick would it be if I could come to Australia and play with some of the fans that watch my videos and go to Ireland and you know go to Sweden and then go to Arizona and Florida. I would love to connect more with you guys and try to help you guys out and deliver more information on the way while still, still trying to improve my game as much as possible. So that's the kind of uh, area I'm headed towards. Um, for me I just got to figure out how to monetize things with these videos. You know, trying to find advertisers or making making some products, you know. I'm just a guy, I don't want to be too, I never want to be very markety or salesy. You know, I always just want to try to provide great content and, and great value aimed at helping you guys. And the law of reciprocation might, might kick in because you guys uh, give back to me as much as I give to you, which is awesome. So thanks, you guys. Uh, something I just wanted to share with you. Like, just snuck on one hole. Like, basically, I just came out here just snuck on the first tee just to make this vid so luckily no one said anything to me but everyone over here has been really great to me so far it's been really nice okay thanks for watching you guys and you know i've been getting a lot of comments on facebook and youtube on the movement towards improvement polos and a lot of you guys want to be part of the movement so thanks i really appreciate that it's really cool uh polos aren't available right now uh but they will be in the future and uh, obviously whenever they're available i'll make sure to give you guys the best deal i can that's for sure so just stay tuned, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Also, giving away this uh, head cover at the end of next week. Taylor made uh, limited edition major head cover. So all you gotta do is subscribe, like a video, hit me up on Facebook, you guys. This is Gabriel right here, PGA TDMTI, signing out, thanks.